This is $35,000 in cash. And this is a cash mule for a refund scammer that's here to pick up this cash in this Walmart parking lot. This man thinks he's walking to a courier van right now to pick up a package full of cash. $35,000 stolen from an elderly victim of a computer refund scam. And we're about to confront Calm him down, okay? face to face. You ever get those annoying scam emails or robocalls saying that you were charged by Amazon or McAfee? Well, this is that scam. And this is what happens when we pretend to be a victim to see just how that scam ends. Unfortunately, for real victims, it ends with emotional scarring and life-altering loss of money. Thankfully, this time, there is no real victim. It's just us scamming the scammers. This isn't even real cash. There is no cash, but the scammers don't know that and they've still shown up to this parking lot to collect their payday, only to be confronted by us at Trilogy Media. You've done this fucking before. Who, me? Now these scam emails, most people just delete them, as you should. But for scam baiters like us, we call them up and string them along. For one, it wastes their time, which reduces real victims. And by following the money, we're able to dissect their methods and expose the culprits. Now you might be wondering, how does a scam email about a fake charge lead to $35,000 in cash being stolen? So many people ask us, how do people continue to fall for this and send large amounts of money in the mail? Well, it's because this scam is extremely complicated and involves many steps of technical and emotional manipulation, which is exactly why they usually target elderly people. The scam baits that are required to dissect these scams and identify the money mules take hours of phone calls, role playing, and social engineering, which is why we could never do this alone. This cash mule that we're about to confront was identified by modern Paul scam baits and Chappie Gray of Scam Pond. And that makes you think that they overpaid you by $35,000. It's, it's a sickening thing they do and I just love to demonstrate it so that people who don't know can now know how it works. They are the best at what they do and we are honored to be working with them. Here, Modern Paul is pretending to be an older man named Walter, falling victim to this fake Geek Squad invoice sent via email. I am looking at the invoice that's for $350. $349.99. Right? Right, right. Here's the shorthand of this scam. By sending the victim an invoice of a fraudulent charge, the scammers will then pretend to refund this charge. Your refund amount is $350, okay? Now go ahead and type. Give a dollar sign 350.00. But while doing so, they send the victim too much money. At least they make it look like it. And then they pressure the victim to send back the overpayment, which oftentimes is tens of thousands of dollars. This entire scam is based around the scammers gaining remote access of the victim's computer. Don't ever let anyone gain remote access to your computer that you don't personally know. But alas, these scammers gain access time after time to victims' computers by telling them that they're connecting them to the refund server or some other horseshit. Now, once the scammers have remote access, they can do whatever they want to your computer. They can click and they can type just like you can. They can install malware, they can alter the HTML of web pages, and they can even block your visibility of your own computer screen while they do whatever they want behind the curtain. You wouldn't be able to see our screen. That is for the security purpose. I hope you don't mind. So then by having the victim log into their bank to check the refund status, this refund is being processed. You need to simply go ahead and log in into your account. They alter the page HTML to display a huge overpayment. Now, let me check that how much funds you have received. Transferred amount is, wait a minute. Oh, I wait think a minute. there's a mistake. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. $35,000, sir. How did that happen? In the receiver refund amount, how many zeros there? Well, it says 35,000. I can clearly see it. Oh my God. Oh, okay, you can clearly see it. Is there a dot? No, so I don't. Oh my I God. I think you missed the dot, and that's why it went $35,000 okay. into wow. your account instead of $350. What the heck? Can that you mistake. believe it? I don't believe this. And then pressure the victim to send that money back. You keep your money, which belongs to you, and the rest oh, of the oh. money. 
which is there in your account, you just return back to us. That's all we want, sir. But the overpayment never happened. It's all a smokescreen. The victim is just sending their hard-earned money to a scammer or a cash mule, either by wire transfer or by sending cash or a check in the mail. And that's where we come in. You see, Modern Paul and Chappie are masters at creating these hilarious and outrageous scenarios while talking to these scammers on the phone. And what that does is force the scammers to give identifying information of multiple money mules. I will simply send you the information, all right, where you need to wire the money. Yes. Which then in turn gets reported to authorities every single time. They not only gave me the name, the bank account and routing number, they gave us the banking address and the, and the, the mule's mailing address. And so when Walter is instructed by the scammers to send a package of cash in the mail, You have to return me $35,000, am I correct? That's right. A cardboard box, do you have that at your home? Wrap the money with that aluminum foil and then try to wrap it with the bubble paper. And at the end, you can just wrap that money with the t-shirt, all right? We are then able to step in and confront the recipient head on. So I, I, I'll, I'll await your text. You need to text me the address and then I'll have Mary send it as soon as I get it. Yeah, I'll text you the address and I'll also text you when you're gonna have to ask Miss Mary to do it, okay? Which is what we're about to do right now. Walter and his colleague, Mary, played by Chappie, have told this scammer that the package has been sent via a private courier. So I sent it through a courier. A friend of mine owns a courier business. Who will meet the recipient in this Walmart parking lot at 2 p.m. He's doing me a favor because he already had a route that was full and he said he's going to be in that area. So he said, if your person can meet us at, he gave me an address and I'll give it to you, then all he has to do is bring a license and sign for it, and he's all set, he's good to go. Now the scammers will often push back and try to change things last minute. It's part of their strategy to avoid exposure and confrontations. You gotta remember, they do watch our videos, but at the end of the day, their greed will always take precedent. Plus, Chappie takes zero bullshit. So is it possible for you so you can take the parcel back with yourself? Nope, nope, All right. nope, it's already gone to, it's already headed to California. He said, I'll be standing outside of Walmart at two o'clock. If you want, uh, the guy has to have an ID. He has to sign for it and then he can do the delivery there. Because no, I asked, tell, I asked it's you today. It's my humble request. I, I, don't, you have care, to I don't care, I don't care. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. I there asked is a you problem, today. Listen Ms. to me. Mary. Listen to me. God will see everything. Listen to me, 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 listen to me. As you know that God is very big. Listen to me, listen to me. Are you done talking? Okay, I'll listen to you. Okay, so I'll listen to you. All right, then shut up. There is a big problem. That's the reason I call you at 20 to 25 times. Then I, you said he won't be there, and then you said he won't be there. So what are you talking about? No, you have, what are you, you talking firstly, about? What are you talking about? Firstly, you you gave me the address, me then you called me 30 you times. Want me, you want you me called me 30 times, again. and you said I have sent he's not the there. Address, That's right. And then That's right, and then you said he won't the be there. You said he won't be there. First, you, you said, said to me that you have there. a problem, That right? doesn't matter. Is he there or not? No. Yeah, you my problem was I was problem. in a fucking ambulance. That's a problem, okay? So you have to tell me that you no, gotta do it tomorrow. No, I don't have to tell you. And I didn't do it tomorrow. It's done. Is he God gonna be there you. tomorrow or not? He gonna be there. Huh. The thing is that you are trying really to be funny. over smart, all right? What does that mean? Which you are what totally the hell does not. over smart mean? What does over right? smart mean? That's not it. Yes, that's not it. Yes. You are trying to be over smart. This makes no sense. Okay? So he's not Thank going. Thank you so much. You're he not. is going. He is going. All right. Can't uh, you make get sure, that? Make sure he, he has an ID. Going. Make sure he has all an right. ID. All right. He is going. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. I highly recommend you go subscribe to Modern Paul Scam Baits on YouTube and Twitch. You can watch these scam baits in their entirety, oftentimes happening live right in front of you. I'm obviously condensing this story, but baiting this scammer, calling himself Kevin, took many days and hours of social engineering. Yes, sir. I believe that something is wrong with that lady. She's a crackhead, you know? Go give them a like and a subscribe so they can keep up the amazing work they're doing to protect victims every single day. But for now, we, the courier, have an appointment at 2 p.m. with Cash Mule John in this Walmart parking lot. And things are about to get a little dicey. Let's go. Please leave 
received your message for nine five four three nine one two one two six. Hi there, I'm trying to reach Kevin. This is Ronnie with Elite Couriers Unlimited, just confirming a delivery as scheduled for 2 p.m. in the parking lot of the Walmart. I'm gonna meet uh, the recipient there at 80 Real Rancho Road in Pomona, California, 91766. Um, I will see you there at 2 p.m. Thanks so much. Bitch. Okay, uh, we gotta go. Yep, I um, just got out of here. I see Walmart, yep, that's Walmart. Spark, Paul, figure out our life. Just three small cars. Yeah, I can zoom in right to the front door from here. Awesome. So uh, just let me know where you guys are gonna be. We're meeting John. Yeah. Sure, write it down. Please leave your message for 954. Hey Kevin, it's Ronnie with Elite Couriers. I am here at the location at Walmart. Uh, please feel free to call or text me. Um, would like to get this uh, package transferred over as soon as possible. I will be ready with a clipboard at the entrance to Walmart. Uh, give me a call. Thanks. It should be in a lockbox. A lockbox? What? Who? Oh, the the cash in a lockbox. Oh motherfucker! Not choppy. Well then, when you meet him, tell him I have a lockbox for yep. you. Yep. Uh huh. Right, boys. I'm gonna bring you a fucking. That lock. is what he thinks. Yep. So I don't know how you're gonna bring up cash <laughs> if it's in a lockbox. I don't know how you're gonna say that I saw cash in it unless it broke. Yeah, damage. It got damaged yeah. in delivery. Yeah. Maybe right. It got dropped or something. Yeah. Drop me. Right, fuckers. I'm out. See you later, alligators. Let me chew a bullshit. Chappie says they could be watching. Well, keep that in mind. There's a security patrolling. Please enter your temporary access code. If you do not have an access code, press star now. Ronnie, hello? Uh, yeah, hello? hello Ronnie. Yeah, can you hear me? A lovely good day to you, Ronnie. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me, Ronnie? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, listen, I've been staying here already for like uh, 15 minutes. It's such a uh, rainy... I, I, I really do apologize. I really do apologize for that, Ronnie. Please just give me only five minutes. I just... I just spoke with John. Okay. He said to me that he's on his way. He just stuck in the red light. Red but, light? Uh, it's raining out there, I guess. Yeah, it it's is raining. Rain. Yeah, right? it's yeah, it's raining a lot. Yes. Okay. That, yeah. Tell him. Right, okay. Tell him. Time. I see. Okay. Tell him there is a big uh, Pepsi. Um, it's a, a soda machine. So I'm staying in the front of Walmart next to Pepsi machine. Okay. Uh, I I just said him that uh, you need to go to the entrance of the Walmart. Yes, that's where I'm staying. Pepsi machine. Am I correct? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. That's what you say. Okay. Yes. Just there is some important medicine into that parcel. Ronnie, can you please just hold for five to ten minutes? Just five to ten minutes, please. No, I'm just calling yes. John right now, okay, correct? sounds good. No problem. I'm gonna be here. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Bye Ronnie. bye. Okay, we should be waiting this guy any minute now. He said that he was at a red light a couple minutes ago, so. You see this camera that just pulled in? The guy's putting a club on his wheel. Uh, Older yeah. Dude. Yep. Older dude, is that it? Yeah. He has the hat, glasses. Yeah.
You got eyes on that black accord, Connor. Text from Scammer. John just talked to me and said he'll be there at any moment. Please, Ronnie, stay there five, ten minutes. It's a request to you, please. Okay, Camry guys on foot. guy looking around in the black Hyundai right there? Yeah, I was just watching that. Looks like he's looking around. It almost looked like he just took a piss. Because <laughs> I saw a bunch of water just fall between his legs. That was weird. You running? Huh? Running? Yeah, are you John? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Oh shit, Art's oh, talking to a guy. Uh, can I see your, um, can I see your ID? I have a package for you. Appreciate it. Okay, I'll take a picture. I appreciate it, man. Are you from Texas? Yeah. I've been to Dallas. Dallas is my team, basketball team. There we go. <laughs> and um, and if you can sign, please, right here. Uh, you John, right? That's you. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. What took you so long? Traffic. Traffic? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Are you uh, on the phone with Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He just called me as well. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Kevin? Are you FaceTiming him? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get out and wait on the other side of the car. You see nothing, you see only, uh, all right. Do you want to call him back or you want to be on the phone with him? No. Yeah, that's fine. It's a white wine over there. Code is, okay, 1284. So this is what happened uh, when I was delivering. Let's go. When I was delivering, the, um, there is a case, right? The case got damaged. So basically there is, um, there is a bunch of cash inside. I don't even know, like, dude, if I'm, like, legal to do this or not. Uh, do you wear that there is a cash inside? I, I just, I just, like, I've been a courier for, like, almost nine years, six to nine years, and I never uh, deliver any cash to anybody. Mm -hmm. So I was like, um, are you going to pick up the stuff? Yeah, I'll pick it up. Pick it up? Okay, cool. Are you, uh, who are you bringing this? I'll bring my car. Huh? I thought I'll bring my car. You're going to bring parts? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, let me give it to you and you can uh, put it in the car. Okay. Yeah, let me, here, I'm going to open the back door. He's on the phone with Kevin mm. on FaceTime. Okay. We've got our guy, target locked on cash mule John, with a picture of his ID already recorded. He's already admitted to be expecting a package of cash and to be associated with Kevin, the scammer. Unfortunately for him, there is no cash and we're about to make him very uncomfortable. Please make sure you watch this video to the end because things are about to get really tense. And while I tell you about our sponsor, Guardio, I'm gonna risk my very own personal computer to prove to you that Guardio's real-time browsing protection actually works. Guardio is a browser extension that scans every website I go to and everything I download, looking for anything malicious and blocking it before it can do me any harm. Now, while I'm doing this ad read, here you can see home footage of me recording myself going through my spam email folder and clicking on all the shady links. And here you can see a matching screen recording of those links being clicked. Let's see how many of them Guardio blocks in real time. Hopefully all of them, otherwise I'm gonna have to light my computer on fire. The Guardio browser extension installs in seconds and will immediately give you real-time protection as you're browsing the internet. The cost of Guardio is extremely affordable for the kind of protection that you're getting. Plus, if you just use our link, you get 20% off the entire thing. Plus, you can try it for free for an entire week. It's the very first link in the description of this video, or you can just type it, guard.io slash trilogy. Go install it right now and you can try it for free. And right away, Guardio will give you a free health report of your browser, informing you of any malicious sites you visited, dangerous extensions you've installed, 
even any data leaks that have occurred in the past involving your passwords. Just this month, Guardio published some new research on a malicious Chrome extension pretending to be ChatGPT. This extension would completely hijack your Facebook profile or business account, regardless if you've turned on two-factor authentication or not. Didn't matter. And Guardio was on to this before Facebook and Google was. This extension was in the Chrome store. That malicious extension has since been removed from Chrome's store, but not before it received thousands of downloads each day that it existed. Go do your free browser scan right now. I can almost guarantee you, you're gonna be surprised by what you find. And for these scam emails that we're hunting today, this is what's called a remote access Trojan attack. Fancy term for scammers trying to get remote access to your computer. Guardio blocks all of these sites before you can even get to them. It keeps you safe and your family safe at no extra charge. You can add up to five family members onto your account so Guardio can protect them when you can't be there too. But you have to use our link for the discount. It's the top link in the description of this video, or you can simply type guard.io slash trilogy. Give it a try for free and join me in knowing that you won't have to light your computer on fire. Now, let's go make John shit his pants. Here, uh, what's the passcode? What? what is the pass for, uh, password for this? 1284. 1284, all right. 1284, okay, 1284. You know what's in it, the package? Nothing. No? Yeah, that's Kevin on the phone. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Can I see? Hey, Kevin. I see, they want to talk to you. Hey, Kevin. It's okay, I don't have to shake. I'm not gonna steal you. Uh, Kevin, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you can hear me, right? So you're the one who sent that package, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kevin, it's a lot of money. It's like what, forty thousand dollars? Like forty thousand dollars cash. Forty thousand dollars cash on it. Why did you send? Why did you send John to pick it up? You know, like it's a, it's illegal. It's a money from victim. So what? The money that you stole from victims, you sent John to pick it up. Illegal money. No, this money came out of the pocket of an elderly victim of a refund scam from Geek Squad. That's, you know what? Do you know what you're involved in? That's actually not Kevin that I just talked to on the phone. Different guy? It's a different guy, it's a different yeah. voice. Okay. Do you know this guy? Someone's calling Somebody's you. calling you. Oh, this is just my friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not involved in that. Okay, okay. this okay. is a sting operation. We're an organization that chases down scammers and exposes money mules. Oh. So the, the package you were told to pick up contains $40,000 in cash. Answer, it's probably, answer. This is, not him. this is somebody else, hello? Put on the speaker. Hello? Yo, Calvin. What's good? Bro, the, I, this dude I see sent me to pick up some scam money. This is illegal criminal activities that you can go to prison. He has nothing to do with this. This is no, I know. But how did you how did you come across of Kevin? That guy just told me, hey, if you're in Cali, I can you can come pick this up. How do you know him though? He doesn't it, know it, about it. You met him before in person? Like, yeah. He like I didn't know this was anything illegal. Like you guys got cameras and all this. I thought he was just. He's like, yo, if you can get to Pomona, you can. I'm hands free all this. He didn't promise you a cut. It's how to be a cut, brother. Why would he have yeah. you pick up a package and for I nothing? I'm not involved in. Yes, you are involved because you can't pick up the illegal cash, $40,000. I didn't know. I have no clue. They, they already give you the passcode no. for that locker box and you just Look. give me that password. Look. Show me the messages. One person, please. It's okay, don't have to shake, it's okay. Yeah, because I'm not involved in that. Okay. Are you, do you have a criminal record? No, I have a clean okay. record. Let, hold on, let me see. Hold on one second, hold on. I, didn't, once, I see you guys with cameras, I'm like, what is yeah, this? We, yeah, we press, we're independent journalists. And we chasing all these cameras and illegal uh, I'm money. I'm not involved in any of that. Okay, I want to see those mes messages. You have a family, you have a baby? Yeah, he just said this, he said this. Show me the beginning. The beginning said, of conversation. He said, yo, I said traffic conversation gets clear enough. You can meet them right here. Okay, the beginning. Yeah. I want to see beginning. That's the I, beginning. No, that's the beginning. Look, I'm not in it, the It's okay. This. Hey, it's okay. No, I know, but I'm saying all of this is crazy. It's all right. It is crazy. Come down, okay? Come down. Yeah, but I mean, I'm whoa. If we're not, we're listen, not, we're not blaming listen, you. We're just, we're, tr we're, well, we're not cops. We're not here to two, arrest anybody. There are two ways that can go. Way number one, we're gonna call police. Way number two, if you communicate, you're gonna tell us how did you get uh, came across of this person. It's raining. It, it is raining. It is. It's okay. Don't. It's okay. It's all right. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, it's no, okay. I'll call that person. Can you call the person that told you to pick this package up? Come here because it's raining. Come here. Hey, listen. We're not blaming you. We're for our protection. Okay. It says nothing. Yeah. See, he's not can, answering now. Uh, what is the number? This is the number. Seven one three three zero two. I call Christopher. 
Ash, can you put this? Okay, he's calling I again. I got Chappie on the line. Hello? Yeah, that's the guy. Yo, I see. Yeah, hey, what's going on? Bro, what's all this? Man? Hey, talk to me. What's going on? Why did you send John? Why did you send him? Somebody just said they needed something picked up. Who? Yeah, I'm not in Poland. Man. It's okay. It's okay. That's all right. It's all right. Yeah, talk to me. Because like John can be in trouble. He's like becoming uh he's becoming a unknown um cash mule. You know that? You know that's a, you know that's illegal? There is nothing just on this silly. Do you know that? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody just said they needed a package picked up. Who? Who said that? But who said that? Somebody from online, bro. From online? I agree. Okay. How did you how did you came across of that person? You're welcome to go, but just, I just want you to understand. What we do is we. Okay. Okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Let's figure out this. So it's a Telegram group. Yeah, yeah. I just want you to know where we are at this. We track this stuff down. We follow it until. All right. So what was the card? How much did they promise you? Because we've been doing this for a decade. We know there is a card. How much did they promise you? Their side of the story. Have a chance to speak you, about how you you're not gonna get in trouble. Just talk to me, like literally. Those just gonna give us a, those just gonna give us a couple hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We well, I, I I know it's not a couple hundred dollars. But usually they do like 10, 15 percent cut from every single package. It's a forty thousand dollar package. Yeah, I didn't know that guy. All right, can you give me, uh, can you give me the contact of that person that you find on Telegram group? Whatever he's involved in, he got you involved in something real If you got, if you can text that uh, to John to your buddy John, I will be appreciated because that Kevin, like you're not Kevin. What is your, what is your real name? Bro, I don't know about that, bro. Yeah, I ain't got no real name. All right, you have no real name, okay? But you talk to Kevin, right? He goes by name Kevin. Yeah, I, I just spoke to him on the phone. He lives in India. He's not even in the United States. He lives in India. All right, bro. I'm gonna have to hit you back later, bro. Well, just want to let you know, all stuff that you guys doing, this is illegal, and uh, you guys, you you could have like. Instead of us, it could have been FBI, and you could have put John, who has kids, you could have put him in prison, you know that? Well, you have to apologize to your friend, you know, since you're friends. Don't send your friend next time to the stink operation if you don't want, if you don't want him to be in prison. All right, just stay, stay out of the trouble. Peace out. 40 grand in cash stolen from an old woman, so. Yeah, I even told him, I was like, yo, you... Sure Chappy, my associate Chappy on the line. Uh, I'm standing here with John. Um, uh, it's, John, uh, John for a please. Yeah. Okay. Hey, John. How are you? This is, uh, this is Chappy Gray. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm the one that was after online scammers and we detected the elderly people. Yeah. You see a scam going down. We stopped it. Mm -hmm. I am responsible for reporting everybody to the site that this is wrong. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what they were saying is, initially, what what could have happened today is instead of them being there, I would have had the fed to Fez, yeah. Him. Cause what's her name? Okay. Chappie. Hey Chappie, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not involved in any of that. Like I just got a call from a friend. He said, "Hey, can you pick this?" First thing I asked him was like, "This is not illegal. There's no weapons." In. Like yeah, cause this friends that call me all the time. Hey, I shit the package. Like, this is California. You know, most of the freight comes out here, and then boom. I, there was no cut involved. Nothing like. None of that. Well, your friend said it was a card involved, a couple yeah. hundred dollars to him. Yeah. But he that, does that even does that make sense? Would I, you think I would do something like this for a hundred? Like no. Well, I know it's not a couple hundred bucks, but you could have got you. He, you're not saying you're not hundred percent clear with us, and I totally get it. I see your I, I see I, I see your like, weasley eyes. There is a cut. You, you, look, you, there is a cut for you. There is a cut for your friend. There is a cut for everybody from every single package. The person getting paid for it. You're not doing this favor for your friend. No, I'm saying I got a call that was like, "Can you go pick this up?" And I'm just, I didn't know. I understand. Was I didn't know what it was. Well, next time. So yeah. you didn't want. If you don't want you. I can hear John. I can hear the conversations that uh, are going on. All right. So I have access watching these cameras. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying like I didn't know. Like he just like 
What I'm trying to tell you is that somebody just told me, a good friend of mine, I've known that guy for 10 years. He just said, hey, can you pick this up? And I'm like, why not? Well, that guy could have get you as in prison. Now I see that. You now know you understand that? Now I understand. That's your friend for 10 years? Yeah. Maybe you should dump that friend. Mm -hmm. Isn't it not alarming for you? I mean, I mean, I didn't even know it was going to be this. Like, I thought it was just picking up a package, meeting somebody. Because I do have friends that aren't involved in this. They'll just say, hey, I ship like a VCR there. Could you? Do you have a um, day job? Do you have like? Yeah, I have a job and everything. That's a, this is this is like I'm not involved in any of this. Do we have, do we have that person's contact? Chappie, you mean his friend? Yes, whoever can, can we get your friend that you know for ten years? Can we get his contact? Yeah, I don't mind it. I mean, that's him calling. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Jack. Yeah. 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 He's still with us. Okay, wait. I'm about to send you a link right now. But, uh... What link? Uh, what were you guys saying again? What link you said? I'm gonna send you another link. What link you gonna send to him? The, the link that you... The, the, the telegram. Okay, yeah, send that link. We wanna see it. Yeah, please do. You've been going time. We're not. We're not holding you against your will. I just wanted you to understand where we're coming from. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like, because I'm not even. Oh, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Can you send? Can you? You said this was what again? What was it? This is no. They're not cops. They're just like they do documentaries on. We work with the media. If you're willing to give us your contact info, I'd love to talk to you at another time when when the tensions are less. They do this to basically like reduce scammers. We go after scammers, and this was a sting operation. So whoever initiated this is a scammer using a bunch of other people as money mules to launder and steal money from elderly people. Yeah, yeah. I get it. And it starts in India. It's not, it doesn't even start here. But yeah, it, they yeah, use I people. I, so, I, I know what this so, is. I'm just saying yeah. I'm not involved. Can, you, no, can I, I see that link? Yeah, I mean... Send me that link. I want to see the link. Or give us your phone number. We'll call you another day. Yeah, I mean, I'm not... I'm calling my phone number. I don't want to give my phone number. Right? Yeah, well, let me just make you understand something. We're not just here as the media to just film and have fun. Everything that we document gets reported to the feds. The reason that we show up here and ask people questions is to get their side of the story. So your side right now is looking pretty damn guilty. So we're either going to run with what we got and report it and the rest goes up to the uh, way above our heads, or you can work with us and we can try to make sense of this. Which one's it going to be? I mean, I sent you a link, fam. All right. Yeah. Open the link. I'll send, I'll send you guys the link. Okay. I kind of got to get out of here. All right. I didn't, I didn't expect you to be on It's all right. No, I, I understand. I this was a regular... Uh, well... Because he's not in the state. The, the, so. the regular no, stuff happens all the time, and it's people losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Today, I mean, it was supposed to be 40 grand, stolen from an old lady named Jennifer, or Mary, actually. Yeah, I mean, I just... Who's... It's okay. Um, hey, Chappie, hang on one second. Just send the link, and I'll yeah, give you guys. Yeah, I can't do it. John wants to leave. Uh, his friend's going to send him the link to a Telegram group. No, I want that link us. right now. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get it. Hey, I see, just send me the link so I can give it to I'm going to get a picture of the link, and then he's going to get out of here. Yeah, just send it to me. You just sent it? All right. Open up. Yeah, John can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, go. There is a link. You take a picture of it. Go ahead, Chappie. He's listening. Yeah, okay, great. John, if you can get them your, a, a contact number for you, mm -hmm. I want to just reach out to you later on. I, I want to make sure that when I, when I record all the guys that you're okay and you're not uh, involved. Yeah, that's fine. We can talk now, I just want to see. Think so, um, I want to also just talk to you to make sure that you're safe. Oh, this yeah, link. Safe yeah, no, I mean, I'm fine. And that link that you're oh, in is, is likely... A link where people do illegal activities. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even in it. That's the thing. I'm finding out about it just now. I'm not saying you are. I'm just explaining what I just want to see the methods, the descriptions. Of the people that sell services that illegal. And unfortunately, your friend here has put you know you in a horrible position. So I'm so happy that Trilogy is there because Trilogy, what they do is they educate people. A lot of people. So there's a lot of exposure going on. And we want yeah. to make sure that when we're exposing these guys and what they're doing and the dollar amount, that you're coming out um, in a better life than these scammer and or your friend. You know what? It's going to be easy like this. 
Okay. Yep. It's okay. I'm I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I'm not doing anything. So it's okay. It's okay. Because, so He's not the least one. Like we're not. I mean, I'm not even know. You're good. No, I'm not. Dude, you've done this fucking before. Who me? Yeah, you fucking done this before. No, yeah, you fucking done this before. No, I'm not. Yeah, here. yes you are. You fucking done this before. I, I see it. I saw everything. I just opened the link. Yeah, no. The the previous messages. I need to pay rent. You just make the whole month of rent. Fucking open up again. What? You, you've done this before. Who are you talking about? Yeah. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know hey, what you're AC? talking about. Hey, AC, you guys been you fucking, guys, you guys been fucking shady. Are, I, you guys I, I, been I, I, fucking I, I, shady, both of you. You've, been, you've, you've done this before. I've, not, I've never yeah. done this. I, I, read the, I, read, I read the messages. This is how you make, you, this is how you make a living. Hey, it was nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. I'm really honest with you. I've never done this. Obviously, I know he's probably, he's a little more aggressive. Right? Right? No, 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 you've done this before. Either AC have done this before or you've done this before. There was a group he just saw where people were saying this. I don't do this. You can check, you want to check my record? You want to check my record? We will check your record. The not, record. not us. But yeah, somebody else going to check the record. To whoever, they're going to see I have a clean record. Then well, you have nothing to worry about. That's yeah. fine. You have to, okay. Well, next time, think, uh, thank, uh, give a big thanks to uh, AC. Uh, Chappie, it's, it's, it's wrapping up. He's yeah, it's wrapping up. Let's go. It's, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting hostile. Hang on, Chappie. Did you get his place number? Just wait, just wait to see where he goes. I punched, I punched a bad ass $1,900 rent. Hold on, we're still watching him, Chappie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking, he's talking, it's okay. He, he's on the phone. You know, it, it was getting hostile. He was, he was like... Oh, sorry, that's his car. His that's his car. Okay, you got his license plate? Can you guys, uh, can you guys... Plate? Texas. Yeah. DXJ. Got it. Okay, got it. And I have a driver license of him. You got a picture And it's Texas. Yep. Great. I got all his shit on my camera. Awesome. And when I st started scrolling more up and up, Oh my God, we're gonna, I made a video. Yeah, we're gonna, we have to go mm -hmm. through, okay. This is the name of the group, but it's spelled kind of weird. So yeah, 351 members. There is Wells Fargo, bank accounts. There is the owner's name. They, they, they give you instructions yeah. what to do, cash out it's, straight to the bank. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole thing. Uh, send her all those photos. Yep. Um, yeah, wow. Yeah, that was not Kevin. He was like, I'm talking to Kevin. I was like, you're not talking yeah. to Kevin. I just talked to Kevin with Indian accent. This is not Kevin. This is AC. He's your local um, buddy. So Kevin too. Ronnie, I believe he reached there. Once you hand over the parcel, are you there? He, okay, so I think we're, I'm going to call Ronnie back right now. All right, Ronnie, I'm sorry. Uh, Kevin back. Wait, you're Ronnie. I'm Ronnie. Sorry, I'm calling Kevin. I'm going to call Kevin back because he's blowing me up. That's fucking intense, dude. dude yeah, that guy was, yeah, he was getting agitated. Freaking yeah, out. Yeah. And, yeah. And he was, it was, he was like, this is my body for 10 years. Well, your body, fuck you up. Your partner is more aggressive, but I'll let you know I'm not. I'm not part of this. I'm not a part of this. I fell into a good cop this time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call fuckface. Okay, let's do uh, it. We can just yep. have fun with this. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> We're like fucking juggling 69. Can you uh, record? Yes, yes. Extra. We should have actually moved from this parking lot. It's okay. We'll move right now. Um, Please enter your temporary access. Did you give the parcel to John? Like he's, he's fucking yeah. The text mail subscriber trying to read. Maybe he's informed already. Oh yeah, I'm fuck. sure they've already yeah. told oh, yeah. him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He was such a polite to me, Kevin. He was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry for waiting you, um, make you wait. It's raining. I heard in LA. Well, I'm sorry. It's red light. He's coming right now." Hello. Kevin. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you give the parcel to John? Well, John showed up, um, and uh, we opened the box together. And uh, we saw that there was uh, cash in there, so I told John to fuck off, and I'm just gonna keep it. What? You heard me. What did you say? It's like 40 grand, it looks like, right? Ish? Ish. So John and I opened the box. Could... I didn't know there was cash in it. Uh -huh. So we're, uh, you know, we kind of had a tussle. We went a little mud wrestling, naked. I told him to fuck off, and then I'm gonna keep the money. Oh, baby, I want to spend it. Why? Why? 
It's 40 grand. Why not? This is not your money. I'm going to It is now. It is m not my money now. I'm his side chick. I want to spend it I already, all. I already spent half of it. She's Natasha here. Natasha is here. Oh. Kevin, stop scamming people. You fucking asshole. We're on to you, bitch. You are with John? Huh? Yeah, I'm with John. He just He's ran... with you? Yeah, he just ran off with his tail between his legs. Yeah, he was running away. His dick got cut off. You just got Trilogy Media... What is it? You just got Trilogy media Trilogy media idiot. It's a bit of a tongue twister. We're still working on it. Yeah. Well, how do you, what, does it sound good? What do you think? Should I trademark it? Do you understand what's happening, Kevin? Your empire is crumbling. No, no. Yes, yeah, yeah. Gonna, we just fuck you up. Your 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 mules are disappearing. They're dropping like flies. That money back to me. No, I'm gonna keep it. Where is John? Can you tell me where is John? He he ran. I told him to leave. He's gone. Because we saw there was cash. So we did rock paper scissors, and I won. And I said, get the fuck out of here. No, actually, we show him our big dick, and he he got scared because he's you know he's unconfident, and he's like, oh wow. That's another version of the story. Take whichever one you prefer. John is with you at the moment. Not anymore. No, no, no that's we, it. There is no more John. We just talked to John. Dude, this is Trilogy Media. Google us, bitch. We chasing scammers. And we're on to you. Yeah. Google us. So maybe two and two will come together in your stupid head. There is no cash mules for you. There is no fucking victims for you. There is no 40k for you, idiot. You'll see our picture if you go in the dictionary under your worst fucking nightmare. You can try that. Or dictionary.com if you got fingers. Who you are talking with? You are talking with me? Yeah. Who else am I talking to? Your mom? I did that last night. Now I'm talking to yo ass. The 40 grand is mine. Hey, listen to me. Go fuck you. Where is John? Where is John? He's gone. Call him. I don't know. He's probably at Chuck E. Cheese. No, he's changing diapers right now. Raise his sorrows. What? John is with you right now. No, oh my are God, you are you dude. stupid? How he, how a stupid person like this can put like a fucking scam like dude, this? Dude, you got shit for brains, and you run a, a, a money laundering empire. What the fuck? Kevin, listen to me. So you are trying, you are trying to grab John, right? I'm not trying to do anything. I'm taking your money, and breaking down your empire, one mule at a time, and it's working. How does that make you feel? Does it make you feel tingly? Kevin, you just got annihilated! Dickhead! Kevin, you good? Do you need me to write it down? Benchot, you got scammed. Scammer got scammed. Yeah. Take a picture of the security card. Hello? Cover. What happened? Did you change your diaper? You told what happened. I already told you. So what's the next step? You gonna try again? It's probably me. You know? Oh. <laughs> Why is he still answering? He's... Uh, this guy's... He's absolutely stupid. Fucking idiot. I don't oh, understand oh, how... Oh. Speak of, speak, speak, speaking of devil. Yeah. Come on. Well, approach me! Arrest me! <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, no. Oh, yeah, keep looking, no, keep looking. What a hap. The text now subscriber you were trying to reach it. I think, boys, that's a, that's a victory. This confrontation and collaboration was very productive. It wasted days of Kevin and his colleagues' time and resources. It took a cash mule, John, off the books for them, not to mention the several other cash mules that were already identified and reported by Modern Paul and Chappie over the entirety of this bait. And it got us identifying information of a mule for hire telegram group. Now we're keeping the identity of this group confidential for now. Instead of having it just shut down right away and then pop up somewhere else, we've been able to infiltrate it undercover to pry as much information out of it as possible. More to come on that later. Don't forget to smash the like and the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see an extended and unblurred version of this video, head over to our streaming platform, Trilogy Plus. You can watch Modern Paul's entire multi-hour scam bait. You can hear Chappie's unedited phone calls to the scammer and much more. There's a Trilogy Plus app in the App Store or Google Play Store, or simply go to TrilogyPlus.com. Just in the last week, we've released a brand new episode of Beyond the Sting, 
going behind the scenes of our Glendale weekend sting house to catch child predators, as well as a heartwarming vlog video from Hawaii where we surprised a squad member and watched Art take a very productive ukulele lesson. And last but certainly not least, do yourself a favor and get the Guardio browser extension right now at guard.io slash trilogy. Go get a free browser health report. It takes two minutes. You just watched an hour long YouTube video. You have time and you won't regret it, I swear. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.